country, somebody just got shot. What's the first thing we should do? And they just shooting up play And I didn't get hit, I would lay down like I got shot. <laughs> okay, then what's the second thing? Uh, if we want to help that person, what do we do? I call the it's taking people from the community and educating the community. The people from the community are spreading the word, are trying to help their own community. And this will open up his airways so that he can breathe better. He can hold his arm. Like, and, yeah. He said that's because he's not hot, not cold. Do that mean warm? <laughs> do you have any questions? Uh, well, the first thing you want to do is make sure that it's safe for you to help the person, right? So the shooter has to be gone. They're uh, at least a few people, at least uh, six, who, who, who would say that we, they've said we've Pressure. saved their life. Right here, and then I would look to see if there was an exit wound, and then I would put pressure right there too. And I would hold it until the ambulance came. And if this got all soaked up with blood, I would put another one on top. Adhesive bandages, image. Yes. <laughs> a tourniquet. Yeah. Heads, antiseptic spray, Tylenol, Bismol, Claritin. Everyone should get this training. It changes the way that you look at things. Um, you're just more prepared for car accidents or any kind of emergency. You pay attention um, to the bodies of people around you and what they might need. Uh, and if it's you know not available in your city, then we'll help you start one there. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's go through the 